Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty. You'll find timestamps in the YouTube description box and please consider clicking subscribe to support the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. So in this chart, what we're looking at is the average sales price as well as the number of sales for detached houses in Toronto on a week by week basis. We have information all the way to May 5th. So we can see the average price hit its peak of $1,832,000 on March 31st. Right now, it's 1.679 million. So that is considerably lower. However, it's definitely better than what we were at last year. Last year, around this time of the year, the average sale price was 1,311,000. So not only were the prices higher at the end of March, but the number of sales looked um, considerably higher. It was 349 on March 24th in the week prior, but now the number of sales is only 268. From my real estate experience over the past 10 years, I've always seen there were more sales in April. So this is quite unusual given that we have more sales during the month of March versus April. April is usually that time people are buying and then in the summertime they're moving into the properties which they purchase just a little bit prior to the new school year. In the next chart over here what we're looking at is the average sale price this year compared to the same time last year. You can see prices are up quite considerably. This is great news if you're a seller planning to list your home during the spring months. Our average price is 26% higher than what it was one year ago. So as you can see here, last year, March 2020, the prices came down quite dramatically. And then during the second half of 2020, prices slowly did increase. Homes were appreciating because of the fact that people weren't really freaking out about COVID anymore. So despite prices being 30% plus higher this year, there's clearly demand because we've been seeing a 70 to 80% of properties sell over the asking price. But there could be a transition coming up because we can see here just over the past week, there were only 69% of properties that were sold over the asking price versus some of the higher numbers we've been exposed to. 74% of homes were sold over the asking price on April 21st, the week prior. And then during March 17th and the week prior, 80% of properties were being sold over the asking price. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting, and this is great news for buyers. The number of active listings was up quite significantly. On April 28th and the week prior, it was 1,219, but over the past week, we were, we're seeing there's 1,460 active listings. So when the number of active listings go up, it's because the number of sales is not exceeding as fast as the number of new listings, which basically means that buyers have more homes to choose from, and that's because homes are not selling as at the fast rate that we have been used to. There have been 484 new listings over the past week. On uh, April 14th, we had 614 new listings that week. And this is a time of the year when we usually see more listings come to the market because the weather isn't as cold. People are more uh, comfortable showing their property. But of course, because of the lockdown, the market is quite unpredictable. The number of active listings is at its highest point all year. And so is the months of inventory for detached homes. We're now at 1.1, which again suggests that we could be maybe transitioning into a little bit less of a seller's market, less properties were being sold over asking price. And right now our average days on market is only 11. As you can see, May 5th in the past week, our months of inventory is 1.1. On April 14th, it was one. And on March 24th, it was only 0.6. Now let's take a look at the condo apartment market. We can see here that the number of sales has declined. Uh, it was only 381 during the week prior to May 5th and it reached its highest point pretty much uh, middle of March, end of March. During March 24th, the number of sales was 535 for that month. And as we look at the average price, we can see it hit its highest point of $740,000 on April 14th, 2021, and now we're only at $704,000. So just like the freehold detached properties that we referred to a little bit earlier, we can see here that prices have come down, but it's not too significant. I did expect the prices to drop a little bit more because condos now have a lot more rules and restrictions that buyers have to follow. We're not able to look at their um, indoor pool or gyms because they're closed. And 69% and of the condominiums that are being listed are selling above the asking price. Whereas if we go back 12 months ago, not only was the average price lower at $669,000, but the average days on market was 22.5 days and only 28% of homes were being sold over the asking price. Looking at the months of inventory for condo apartments, it is uh, trending upwards. Now we're at 1.15, whereas before, if we look at 
uh, March 24th, for example, the months of inventory was only 0.5. So that means it was very, very good for sellers back then. However, 1.15 like we have now still means that likely you will not have trouble selling your property. It's just a question of how much over the asking price you're able to sell for. And that's all that I got for you. Um, I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And if you'd like to buy or sell, then you can contact me. My information is in the description box below. And if you are an ambitious real estate agent looking to connect for opportunity, then do reach out to me as well. Even if you're not in Toronto, I'd love to talk to you. And I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.